Hi friends, I have some more thoughts to share with you and also a prayer for the Trump administration. Now, no matter what side we're on, as believers, we are told in 1 Timothy 2.2 to pray for our leaders so we can live in peace. And if ever it was time to pray, it is now. Now, all night long, I've been dreaming about President Trump waking up in travail, praying and falling back to sleep again. Now, as I said yesterday, friends, Trump needs our prayers and not only that he won't fall into temptation, but also prayers for his life. I won't go into details, friends, but I believe the Holy Spirit would urgently call for us to pray too for Trump's protection. Some people have asked me, friends, how I could even support Trump, as if my support for him is at odds with my Christian faith in Christ. But to have an understanding of why I support Trump, we must first have an understanding of what globalism is. Now, I don't want to digress too much, as I want to get to the important prayer for Trump and the upheaval that's happening across the planet. But just to say, friends, I've been studying globalism for a number of years now, after the Lord woke me up in the night in a powerful encounter with him. Now, before this supernatural event, I had absolutely no idea about what globalism was or of the inroads it was making around the world. I was one of the dumbed down masses. Now, when I sat down to study globalism and research it with the aid of the Holy Spirit, I was shocked. I couldn't believe what the Lord was showing me. I was really in a state of shock, friends. Corrupt leaders engaging in absurd occult practices which made my stomach turn and clandestine meetings in order to overthrow nation states and unify the planet under a one world system. And then, friends, the penny dropped along with my chin. Globalism is the Antichrist system as prophesied in Scripture. It lines up precisely what the Bible predicted is coming to pass in our day. Everything, an anti-Christian dictatorship, a global monetary system and a one world religion. Now, for years, friends, we've been drip fed globalism. We've been conditioned to reject nationalism. Nationalism is akin to Hitler and Nazi Germany, we are told. But let's not forget, friends, Hitler was a globalist and let's make no mistake about it. Hitler's idea to conquer Europe is what we now have in the EU. The EU is a blueprint for global government. It's pretty much identical to Hitler's plan. Now, Hitler wanted to go further than Europe and conquer the world. Hitler was a globalist. Thankfully, friends, he was stopped in his quest for world domination. And now, friends, today fascism is on the rise and we can see its manifestation in those mind-controlled liberals who advocate an end to pretty much anything a sane person holds dear and demands through bullying and violence that everyone follow this globalist-fed ideology. An end to life for the unborn, an end to gender, when it's biologically staring us right in the face we are only male and female. An end to family, an end to marriage, an end to morals, an end to Christianity, an end to nation states, an end to democracy, an end to national borders. And friends, what a lie we have been fed here. Our borders are supposed to be secured. Trump's ruling is not because he's a racist. That's what the media propaganda would have us believe. It's about security. This is why Europe has such a problem with terrorists running amok with axes, trucks and bombs and why rapes and assaults have skyrocketed in Europe with this open door to migrants and open borders across Europe. And friends, that's not fear mongering. That's from my own research. Meanwhile, friends, our leaders do absolutely nothing to protect us. Anyway, the list goes on and on and on. What these liberals are calling for is globalism. And now, friends, they are aligning themselves with Islam. They are kindred spirits. Both want world domination. So friends, that doesn't really cover everything about globalism, but just to say it's evil. And the Trump administration in taking back America for the people is undoing globalism by default. And that's why, friends, I support Trump. Now, as I've said many times on End Time Hour, friends, Trump could fail for whatever reason. And if we don't pray now, he could be either deceived or be simply taken out of the equation. So friends, shall we pray together? 
O Lord God of heaven and earth, we praise your glorious name. Today, Lord, we pray for President Donald J. Trump and his administration. Father, we pray for wisdom in this hour. We pray for discernment in this hour. We pray for restraint in this hour. And we pray for protection in this hour. Father, we pray for your holy angels to protect and keep Trump and Pence from physical harm. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that as the devil manifests, they will not be deceived. Lord, we beseech you today and we cry out to you for America and for the church of Jesus Christ all across America. Lord, we cry out to you for those who have forsaken God, for those who are antichrist and are fueling violence and hatred. And Lord God, we cry out to you that you would open the eyes of Christians. And Lord, in Jesus' name, we rebuke the devourer. We rebuke the antichrist spirit that is rising up in this hour. Father, we pray that your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, finally, we pray for Europe and we pray for Britain as it makes its way out of the European Union. Father, we pray for the church for strength in this hour. We pray for boldness and we pray for hearts to be open and attuned to your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray for France and we pray for Holland too during this time. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Friends, do pray. Do keep praying in this hour. Peace, friends. God bless you.